video something I think that it uh, started over I think that's what it does it be I can't read the words but it, it beeped twice and a word came up a couple of words anyway uh, so this is yummy I'm still recording so I think it started a new video I've got it set to do that if it gets too big of a file size for the what this phone can handle so um, yummy multi boot USB uh, program and the USB is over there in the side of the Dell 1525 so I'm gonna uh, you build, you put what whatever Linux it helps you it downloads them for you and everything too if you if you don't already have them downloaded so uh, I've got boot repair DRBL live system that's kind of cool you can you can uh, set you can turn your whatever system you have this on into a server that you can remote you can uh, a boot server and you can boot up other systems too uh, it's a domain Linux system and it's kind of neat you could actually use it uh, I have some systems I could actually use it on because they have uh, they don't have uh, big enough drives on them I won't go into that right now but anyway antivirus tools okay a, Cro a Cronus anti malware scan and ESET I like them both uh, I think I already ran these on there not long ago that's the thing so I don't know if it's gonna I'm gonna go with ESET this time I can't actually remember and ask you what you want to do, different things, memory test, check disk for defects. That's a nice addition. I saw that on that other one too. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to check the disk. I know it's all right. So. Showing up on my big monitor now, and of course it went away. Of course it went away on both of them. It's doing that while it's booting. It's actually a fast booting system, so it. Um, I have to be careful and put my finger over the. So it's um, got a long list of things you need to do. They will ask you what you want to do, but Live Grid, they want to know: Do you want to connect? That's nice that they ask you instead of just doing it. Do you want to connect to the Live Grid and get all the uh, help you can from their system and the, all the other users' uh, info that's been sent in? You know, on their stuff. Now, potentially unwanted applications, pups. Uh, enable detection, disable detection. I'm going to say disable because. Yeah, go ahead and enable it. I don't think it'll take a minute. There's some things that, like Sardu, it calls Sardu a pup. That and a couple other of my Linux building apps, it does that. And uh, if, you know, they can anything can get infected on your system. You, you've had it there a while. Some other infected app might inf run through and infect a bunch of them. So I kind of go back and forth. And generally, what I do is go scan everything, all my uh, backups, and see if anything looks like it. Okay, you either accept, decline or accept their conditions. <coughs> okay, so anyway, sometimes the pups will, um, you'll take away all your apps that you want to use is what I'm trying to say. Okay, now with this, you have to, it starts out on the home screen, on demand and scan. You, I, I think on this one, there's, there's one of them that you actually have to manually update. Okay, update is not necessary. The install virus signature is current. Okay. Home. Okay, on demand scan. Now I like to do the custom scan. Oops. Okay, yeah, that's alright. Well, I'm going to go back. Cancel. Scan setup. Okay, now. Ah, that's, that's fine. I keep going back and forth on how I think I ought to do that. Okay, I want to scan the. Uh, I don't want to scan my USB stick. I've broken my a USB stick before because uh, Windows virus scanners don't understand Linux file systems. 
and they will break them sometimes thinking that they're infected so if you boot it to a Linux USB stick you probably don't want to scan it I want to scan all the drives local disk if I grub okay yeah I don't want that one if you see grub 2 and stuff like that that's your, gonna be your and U3 is the name of my so that's my they don't always tell you the see the uh, these discs I forgot the name of them now anyway they have a name that usually shows up you know what's what's given to them the manufacturer's name and they that's usually what will happen so you can't you can't you can't j if you just click computer and try to get everything then you'll get uh, multi boots what it's named oh yummy named it multi boot okay that's what happened there okay uh, so uh, smart scan in-depth scan that's what I want oops now I gotta go back and do all that again I don't want my CD ROM okay and I do want see I have a backup drive on there yeah it doesn't actually look like the folders from my backup drive oh that's my Windows drive that's why it doesn't look like it I guess local disk one yeah it would be my backup drive. that's my backup drive I wasn't reading I was talking okay so local disk 3 is my yeah that's my Linux and you also get live in RAM uh, discs when you boot to a live system and they're all various to how they look and what they say so I'm not gonna say scan without cleaning I'm just gonna say and there wouldn't be any point in saving it because this is on a live system and it would be lost when you reboot so now it's scanning and uh, <coughs> That's the only tricky thing about any of these is each one is made up, set up differently, and you just have to really pay attention and read the menus to see if it's going to do what you want. Of course, you could just let them kind of go by what they suggest, but what I have noticed is if you have a bunch of downloaded files in a, in a downloads folder, especially if you made your own folder and stuff like that, and certain places that viruses kind of know how to hide they may be skipped by these uh, default scans sometimes so I scan every nook and cranny of my disk including especially boot sectors and all that I don't remember seeing the option of boot sector but a lot of them will do that anyway without asking you so might have been in there and I didn't see it because I was talking but uh, um, Anyway, this will take anywhere from 10 minutes to 30, 40 minutes. Who knows? So I'm going to stop my little video. Maybe I'll just come back after it's done. Alright, this is done.